Name a crime that I committed other than being black and walking down this driveway. This is f***ed up. I can't f***ing believe I'm being treated like this. this a cop is supposed to protect every citizen equally, irrespective of their skin color, gender, or country. But how unfortunate is it that there are always cops who not only discriminate, but also go on to humiliate the very citizens that they swore to protect? In this episode, Enforced brings you three cases where a racist police officer tried to cause trouble for black citizens, but got shamed and owned instead. For our first case, we take you over to Marlin, Texas, where two police officers were found trying to trample on the rights of a black citizen. They were trying to investigate a black man and woman for suspicious activity and possible trespassing just for walking outside their own house. Fortunately, the man knew the law better than the officers themselves and didn't let them play with him. He beat them at their own game. Do, now, do you have a search warrant to be on my property? Okay. I do not, okay? Okay, so- But, listen to me, all right? If you can just provide this information for me, your IDs, if you live here- I'm not, I'm not providing you nothing, I mean, man. Matter of fact, get off my property right now if you don't have a search warrant. Sir, I'm, I have- I'm asking you nice. And I was asking you nicely as hey, well. Hey, sir, all I'm saying, if you don't have a search warrant, paperwork to be on my property, what crime do you suspect, and okay, su the suspect only me of committing? Okay, crime that I have right now is y'all, Failure to identify. Okay, okay. 38.02. Okay. Failure to identify. One must already be under arrest for a crime that he has committed. What crime have I committed? Failure to identify. No, that's not a crime. Walking that only becomes a crime once one has already lawfully. Be quiet. Be quiet. Let me educate this 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 one. You hear me? Let me educate him. 38.02. Failure to identify only becomes a crime when one has already been lawfully arrested for a crime. Let me give you an example, sir, since I don't know who you what is. About detained? Huh? And what about detained? I, what am I being detained for? You were detained because you were suspicious activity. The pathetic police officer has no grounds to question or cause trouble for the man, but continues to talk nonsense and tries to make everything he can stick. However, this time their luck struck out, and instead of getting away with it, they're in for a lesson. They've messed with someone who knows his rights and how to protect them. No, what, what penal code? You got to name a penal code that I've committed. That is the crime. Name a crime that I committed. You hear me? Name a crime that I committed other than being black and walking down this driveway. You were detained for suspicious behavior. Walk it out. Hey, it's shoemaker. Sh sh shoemaker. Don't don't do that, brother. I'm finna show you guys. Cause you're dealing with the wrong one. That's why you guys mad at me. Cause you won't be able to handle me like you handle the other ones. Cause I'm on top of my game. I know you see the gold teeth the tattoos and immediately think I'm another, another plain, normal, regular black guy. No, player, wrong one. But let me educate you guys today. Texas Penal Code, failure to identify. A person commits a offense if he intentionally refused to give his name, residence, address, or date of birth to a peace officer who has lawfully arrested the person. I am not under arrest. Once you show me that you have a legitimate reason to believe that I have committed a crime or I'm in the act of committing a crime, you know, you got to name a penal code. What penal code do you suspect me of breaking? What crime have, have I committed? committed? Will you be in my yard and be with me? You hear me? The wrongful suspect is owning the cops like a top-notch lawyer while they have nothing on him. This officer told me I look suspicious, man. I look suspicious. Walking in my own, I'm just walking down the back. I'm walking down the driveway right here, down to the backyard, right? When the officer right here was passing by, this officer right here was passing by. And when he seen me, he turned around and came back. And I looked up, he already in my backyard. You know what I'm saying? I got signs, he immediately stated his head. He seen the no That's trespassing correct. sign. That's correct. He's, he's agreeing with me. He's seen the no trespassing sign and took it upon his business because he's seen a black guy, I guess it's such a nice looking house that we weren't supposed to be there. He's trespassing. He's looking to try to take something from me. You hear me? I violated no law. I haven't breached the peace. I've done nothing wrong. And he's here asking me for my information. Yeah, Who, that's, all, that's all I need. And I don't have to give that to you if I've done nothing wrong, sir. For a suspicion that? What, suspicious of what? of being at this property. This is proof right here, Marlon, of what we're dealing with. This is proof what we're dealing with. We got peoples in charge of us who don't even know the laws themselves, but I quote them for them, you hear me? I quote them for them and let them read them, you hear me? 
Yes, look at him. The guy is bold and confident as he knows the law and quite literally quotes it to the officers who are supposed to know it better than ordinary citizens. But unfortunately, these officers only take the law for granted and use it as a cover to racially profile citizens and do as they please. Yo, did you have a search warrant to come on my land, my property? All right. Sir, what's your name again? Uh, am I, am I free or am I, uh, uh, am, am I being detained? Well, I just want to know your name. Am I being detained or am I free to go? You're free to go. Well, I don't answer questions. Okay. You have a nice day. Now look at it. Now I don't want to give him a name. He just gonna leave. I thought I was doing something wrong. If I was doing something wrong, why are you leaving the way so quick? Huh? Yeah, yes. Day, sir. Why, why am I leaving the way so quick? What's your name again, sir? I'm Officer Ortiz. Officer Ortiz? Yes, sir. Yes, this is, this is what we're dealing with, Marlon. You hear me? We got people like him who don't even know the law themselves. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah, officer. Uh-huh. Yeah, got him. Got him, boss. Hey, Jack. That's how you gotta help him! This gives a great example of the power of knowledge, of knowing the law, and of remaining calm and confident in such situations. Doing this can save you from being detained or arrested for no good reason. These police officers should have focused on their duty, but instead they're wasting their time trying to make it hard for black citizens. It's good to know that they can't always get away with it. Let's head over to Windsor, Virginia, where two police officers unnecessarily escalated a simple traffic stop involving a second lieutenant in the US Army. Did they think he was just another black man they could mess with? What were these officers trying to achieve with this overly aggressive traffic stop, and did they really think that there would be no consequences for their actions? Let's jump into the footage and figure out what happened. How many occupants are in your vehicle? Hold, 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 hold. Keep your hands outside the window. Keep your hands outside the window. Get out of the car now. Now. Get out of the car now. Get out of the car now. Yo, well, guess what? I'm a veteran too. I learned to obey. Get out of the car. Get out of the car now. What's going on? What's going on? You're fixing to ride the lightning, son. Get out of the car now. Get out of the car now. Get out of the car. Sir, just get out of the car. Work with us and we'll talk to you. Get out of the car. You received an order. Obey it. I'm, I'm, I'm honestly afraid to get out. Can I? Yeah, you, you should be. Get out. What? Get out. Get out of the car. Get out now. I have not committed any crime. You're being stopped for a traffic violation. You're not cooperating at this point right now. You're under arrest for, for you're being detained, okay? You're being detained for obstruction of justice. Traffic violation. I do not have to get out of the You haven't even told really? me why I'm being stopped. Really? Get, your get, hands get out of the car now. Get out of the car. Get your hands off me. Get out of the car. Get your hands off me. You know what? Get your hands off me. Not a problem. Get off me. Back up there. I didn't do anything. Don't do that. Sir. Get out of the car now. Hey, sir. Get out of the car now. Sir, Look, I'm trying to talk get out. to you. Okay. I'm trying to I'm talk to you. Get out. Just get relax. out of the car. Can you please get relax? Can get out. Please relax. Get out of the car right I, now. This now. This is not how you treat a vet. Uh, I'm actively serving this country, and this is how you're going to treat me. Back up, Daniel. I didn't do anything. Back up. Whoa, hold on. Daniel. What's going on? Hold on. I just dropped it. Get out of the car. Get out of the car now! Get out of the car now! Sir, just get out of the car! I'm trying to breathe. Get out of the car now! Yeah, open. Oh, get out of the car and get on the ground now. You're gonna get it again. I, I don't even want to reach my seatbelt. Take your seatbelt off and get out of the car. Get out of the car now! Listen! Take off your seatbelt and get out of the car. Look, I'm just gonna just please. You're gonna do what you're told. Get out of the car. Look. Take your seatbelt off and get out of the car. Take your seatbelt off. Look, my hands are out. 
Take your seatbelt off and get out of the car. Hands are out. Don't reach in there, Daniel. Don't reach in there. My hands are out. Please. Please. Look. This is really messed up. My dog is in the back. My dog is choking right get now. Get out of the car. Take your seatbelt off. What are you, a specialist? Court mode, are you? I'm a lieutenant. Lieutenant, get out of the car. Take your seatbelt off and get out of the car. You made this way more difficult than it had to be. If you just complied. Get out of the car. I'm reaching for my seatbelt. Fine. Take your seatbelt off and get out of the car. Straight onto the ground. Straight onto the ground. Ma'am. Is your commanding officer available? Down. Let's go. Is your commanding Let's go. available? The whole scene is a depiction of how police officers can be ruthless, senseless, and downright unlawful without a good reason. The man was stopped for a traffic violation, but treated like a hardened criminal, and wasn't even told which violations he had made. Throughout the encounter, the lieutenant is asking what's going on, but the officers come in guns blazing and can only seem to bark unreasonable orders at the lieutenant. Strict action is required against such racist officers who do this with ordinary citizens whose only fault is the color of their skin color and their luck, which results in encounters with such vile officers. Get on the ground! Get on the ground now! Can you please talk to me about what's going on? Can you please talk to me about what's going on? Yes, sir! Can you please talk to me about what's going on? Why am I being treated like this? Why? Because you're not cooperating. Get on the ground. Why am I being treated like this? This is really messed up. This is really messed up. Sorry, what? Just, just one. What's up? Sorry. They flat. This is up. I can't believe I'm being treated like this. And I'm on the ground. Put your hands behind your back. Put your hands behind your back. This is up. This is up. I agree. All you have to do is listen. These clearly racist officers went in with excessive force and completely disregarded the fact that they're dealing with a lieutenant, a man who is currently serving the country. At no point do they hear him out or engage in a reasonable conversation with the lieutenant. They barge in as if they've already decided that the man is dangerous and cannot be reasoned with simply because of the color of his skin. Officer Joe not only pepper sprays the lieutenant when he is clearly not being hostile, but proceeds to strike him with his knee once the lieutenant is out of the vehicle. The lieutenant went on to file a lawsuit against them, which resulted in Officer Joe Gutierrez losing his job and Lieutenant Nazario being awarded less than $4,000. For our last video today, we take you to a hotel in Tempe, Arizona, where police officer Ronald Kurzaya held back a hotel worker, Trey, at gunpoint while searching for a suspect whose description wasn't anywhere near that of the employee. He just held him at gunpoint because he was black, while the man he was supposed to catch escaped. Now let's get into it and see how the racist officer handled things. Manager's advising a male subject here just pulled a firearm on him. What room number and what's the description? What info do you have on this individual? Where is he now? What is it? Which room number? White male, black male, what do we got? Is he a white male, a black male? Come on. White male, uh, he's gonna be wearing a uh, he's gonna be, black shirt, tan pants. He's gonna be coming down the staircase and exit out that door right there. He's walking out right now. He's walking out now. Get inside now. Get the out. Put your hands up. Whoa, whoa. Want a gunpoint? Step out. I work here. You work here? I was kicking the door closed, man. Okay, put, turn around. I work here. That's fine. Oh, man, you don't Step this way. Me. Hey, listen up. to me. Listen, okay? I got my hands I up. am responding to somebody with a firearm who matches your description. I, you understand that? Come here. I got my hands up, man. Stand Take back. the gun off. 
For real, I got my hands up. Take Where's your ID at? No, you don't get to tell me what to do. I Where's your ID at? Take the gun off me, man. No. Where your supervisor at? You gonna shoot me? I'll no. Another person on the news? Get on your knees. I didn't do nothing. Shut to the you. F up with that. Shit on your knees. All right. I didn't do nothing to you. Remember this. I need your badge number and your name. You'll get everything you need. Yeah, put need put everything on the ground. I didn't do nothing to you. I got my hands up and I work here. Go call the manager. Forty-one. Where are my other units at? Just hang tight, okay? okay but this ain't. I'm t I work here. All you gotta do is call the manager and take the. Who's gun your off. manager? Stop Sean telling me Hoover. what to do. Sean Hoover, take okay, the. Okay, what gun is off. your name? Trey. Forty-one. Can we get somebody to get the complainant on the line and find out if there's an employee here by the name of Trey? You don't got to hold no gun. My hands are up. I'm not a threat to you. Are you a cop? I'm not a threat to you. Are you a cop? I'm not a threat to you. You don't tell me what a threat, a threat to me to is. You don't yeah. know. Just because you're a cop don't mean you can hold a gun at somebody whenever you get good and damn ready. I put my hands up and I'm When not I'm responding to somebody with a firearm, I can do what I need to to stay up. safe and go home to my family. Do you understand that? My hands are up. I have somebody on the phone right now with Sean trying to confirm if you're an employee or not. I as soon as I verify that, you can go yellow. and then you can get whatever information you need. Do you understand that? Yellow. It's crazy, huh? Hey, can you record this? He steadily got his gun on me and I got my hands up. I'm steadily recording got his gun too. On me and I got my hands up. Here. I know I work here, but he steadily got his gun. That's steadily... fine, just stay back. Hey, record this, man. For real. I got my hands up on the ground, he still got a gun pointed on me. And my knees hurt, man. The officer here is either unbelievably incompetent or highly prejudiced because when he's told the suspect is a white male, he goes on to point his gun at a black male, clearly an employee of the hotel in his uniform, telling him that he matches the description of the suspect. Despite the employee's continued explanations and requests, he refuses to lower the gun from a suspect who is on his knees and has his hands in the air. At this point, the employee could have panicked or could have taken a misstep because unreasonably there was a gun pointed at him, which must have been an unimaginably stressful situation. But he stood firm and confident. Anybody come Did he verify that somebody by the name of Trey works here? I'm just dressed like this for no reason? Get out of here, Trey. Yeah, thank you. You can stand by in the lobby. If you need all my information, I'll be more than happy to give it to you. Have a great afternoon. Stop right there. I've got another one to gumbo. Get your out of here now! I've got one fleeing back inside. Hispanic or white male, approximately 30 years old, black bandana, white t shirt, gray shorts. Stop right there. Me? Where did he go? Where the f did he go? I ain't got nothing to do with that man. Where is he? That ain't got nothing to do with me. No shit. So why are you talking to me like that? God oh, damn. Go. Get the f out of the way. I'm not go. Way. I can't go. Yes, you can. Now. I'm just inside the west entrance. I don't know where the hell he went. He's good. Get him out. Where did he go, Sean? Jesus Christ! The guy with the gun, where the hell did he go? He walked outside and Jesus Christ! The officer was so focused on discriminating against the black guy that he lost sight of the actual suspect and let him flee, which shows just how pathetic he was at his job. Just sit up. Which way did he go? The police officer resigned more than a year after his body cam video was released, which actually went viral on social media. Despite an internal investigation, a particularly strict action was not taken against Officer Kurzaya, and he was only placed on a two-week suspension and got demoted from patrol for one year. However, it's reassuring that Officer Kurzaya, under state rules, is banned from re-entering law enforcement since he voluntarily dropped his certification while facing possible disciplinary action. In any case, Officer Kurzaya, and anyone with similar racist and prejudiced inclinations, is not fit to be an officer of the law, and it's best they stay off the force.